Now, according to the CDC, more than 100,000 people died of overdoses last year. So will easy access to Narcan help to solve that problem? Joining me now is Dr. Corey A. Bear. He's a physician with the LSU School of Medicine. Dr. A. Bear, you and I have talked many times on different topics. Uh, let's talk about this Narcan situation. Why would the FDA go against the majority of votes uh, in this particular case? You know, I think it's kind of one of those same kind of situations where you don't want to, you know, have birth control over the counter because it's going to make people uh, go have a bunch of sex unprotected. That's just not how it really works out. We know that people are dying from overdose. They need to have their ability to save their lives and, and, and their families' lives. I mean, it's, it's kind of like... You know, it's like a no-brainer that this should go. And I, I always think that there's a little something else brewing when something like this is so overtly being uh, 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 being uh, put against other folks. To You know, it, people can't come together on this. I think that there's something very fishy about this, and I think it's probably going to come out in the next month. Because when we're looking behind the scenes, when we monitor this stuff all the time, this it doesn't make sense with all of the opioid overdoses out there. Dr. A. Bear, I spoke with a medical professional a couple of weeks ago about this very topic, and she suggested to me at that time, she says, you know what, Nick, I'm buying it so I can keep it in my purse and have it on the ready. In fact, it will be part of my first aid kit. I was almost dismissive of that. I'm like, I'm not in those neighborhoods where that would be something I would need. And she made it clear, it's not about that. It's about being ready should an emergency happen because you never know and you should have it on the ready. Dr. Abear, can someone take too much Narcan and should one just have Narcan on the ready for an emergency situation? Yeah, people should have it on the ready in, in any type of emergency situation. Just like, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, DeMar Hamlin, right? The reason why he's alive today is because there was an AED on the ready. Right, things happen all the time. So you know, you might be at a restaurant, you might be anywhere, and just because that person you might think may not be worthy of saving because they are on a medication that I mean, on a an illicit drug, they could also be on a medication. Think about a patient that has sickle cell disease and is taking some type of medicine and that is a narcotic for sickle cell pain, and then they have an overdose because for whatever reason they took too much. That could happen anywhere. So we never should hold back life-saving treatment because we think that it might make people start using the thing that might kill them. I mean, that that's just, that's ludicrous. And quickly, Dr. Bear, you cannot take too much Narcan, or can you? No, I mean, at, at certain points, I mean, you know, you can take too much water. I mean, to be honest with you, and die. But no, we actually have the ability to monitor the amount of Narcan, and it is generally pre-filled. Dr. Corey Bear, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.